Hey fellow Legos fans, DJ Legos uh, back for another video and uh, today uh, I'm doing a bit of a channel update. So first of all, uh, Happy New Year. Uh, welcome to 2024 I guess. Uh, I hope you all had a good holiday season. Uh, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Festivus, uh, whatever you celebrate, I hope you had a good one. I uh, hope you got everything that you needed uh, from uh, family and um, under the tree and whatnot. So, uh, talking about uh, this past year, 2023, it's kind of whirlwind uh, for me and for the channel. Um, my uh, dad passed away, uh, had to change careers, uh, got a new house, which was the big upside, but uh, in terms of the channel, at least, uh, I got a little bit better at uh, uploading on time, but uh, in relation to new movie releases, but not as great as, as, as I would like. I would uh, like to uh, put out more content, and I, I did get uh, somewhat better on um, uploading uh just want to stick to a more consistent schedule uh want to put out uh more uh quality content because uh the one i ones i put out now are as uh, just not good enough for me still i find myself a little bit too rambly at times and i just want to uh, create uh, succinct. So with that being said, uh, some of my goals for the channel for this year is of course, I, as I just mentioned, uh, getting better at reviews, uh, being less rambly, uh, less uh, and being more to the point, uh, just uh, showing you uh, what is important about the set and uh, the build and all that, uh, whatever. And uh, giving a good uh, quality uh, video experience for me uh, and improving the uh, non uh, monotone ness of my voice here. Also, uh, I will be cutting back on the themes that I cover. Uh, pretty much, uh, I, I don't have the uh, income right now to uh, review everything and. Uh, I, I got kind of burnt out just uh, trying to cover everything. Uh, so uh, I know last year uh, the Dreams line came out and I said I would cover that. And I ended up covering the Bunchu set, uh, but uh, I will not be covering the Dreams line uh, anymore. Uh, not because I don't like it, I, I really do. I think it's very inventive. I think it's a good original theme from Lego. Uh, it's just uh, those reviews, uh, as I realized, take a lot of work. And uh, you have to, for me to properly cover it to my standards, I you have two different uh, builds to cover there. And uh, that takes a little bit more time to review. And I don't uh, really have the time for that, uh, so. Uh, also, I'm not going to cover anything that I don't have a personal connection with, uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, or themes that I don't like, uh, so, uh, for the potpourri section, I'm just going to cut it back, uh, majorly, uh, I will still cover, like, stuff like Indiana Jones, Avatar, I, I still like those themes, uh, so I will still cover them, I will still cover, uh, Brickheads, all that, uh, it's just, as you saw last year, I didn't even get the Sonic sets or the Gabby's Dollhouse, because I don't like any of that stuff so I, I didn't think I could uh, accurately cover those. The goal for the new year for the channel is uh, I want to review things in a better time frame uh, so new release season I want to cover uh, the important sets that I feel like I, I want to cover and uh, pretty um, uh, right away uh, so now waiting until like Christmas to review sets that came up back in January uh, here in January I want to review the sets that came out in January so uh, also with that I want to review the the movie tie-in sets a lot more better uh, I kind of got that uh, with that a little bit in the 
uh, the previous year, as I mentioned, but I want to get even better at that. Uh, having uh, stuff actually uh, uh, when it releases, so it's uh, so it's out before the movie even comes out. Uh, so uh, I feel like that is the best window uh, for that. Same with the advent calendars in uh, the end of the year. I feel like uh, those should be covered in like the November area uh, since that's when uh, people are usually looking at that stuff to uh, per and a part of uh, my goal is uh, I want to have an upload on every day of my schedule uh, even if there's not new products so um, I will continue to review older sets um, uh, when there's not a new product for that. Uh, and I want to use uh, that time uh, for the first half this year to uh, kind of go over uh, all the sets that I missed in 2023, because uh, I want to do a year overview uh, series uh, starting with this year. Um, so I want to have that done by March. And, uh, it's just gonna go uh, through all the themes that I cover, uh, talk about uh, the hits and misses of the Marvel and the Star Wars themes, uh, stuff like that. And also I wanna stick to a more consistent schedule. Uh, so I'm still uh, sticking to the uh, schedule that I established last year of uh, Monday being my off day, uh, Tuesday being uh, potpourri, which is just uh, whatever uh, random uh, theme that I want to cover that's not uh, one of the main ones I cover. Uh, so like brick heads or uh, seasonal stuff, stuff like that. Uh, Wednesdays are going to be Star Wars. Uh, Thursdays are Monkey Kid and Ninjago. Uh, flip between those two. Fridays is uh, Jurassic World. And Saturdays are is Marvel. And Sundays are is DC. And I want to have all my videos uh, from now on uploaded by 5 p.m. Uh, that is my time. Uh, I am in. I do live in the Midwest, uh, so that would be uh, 5 p.m. my time. There are some anniversaries for uh, various uh, properties that Legos covered uh, that I want to do something special with uh, for uh, each theme. So uh, the Lego Star Wars theme this year is celebrating the 20 its 25th anniversary. Uh, so I'm just gonna be uh, looking through uh, all the uh, older Star Wars sets that I have and uh, going through them. Uh, the Lego new. The Lego movie actually celebrates its 10th anniversary this year as well. Uh, so with that, I'm going to cover uh, all the sets from the original movie, uh, but uh, I will also cover uh, the Ninjago movie, uh, the Batman movie, and the Lego movie too, uh, just because uh, I don't foresee uh, waiting around until those respective anniversaries, so I, I just want to cover all of them there. Uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is also celebrating its 40th anniversary this year, uh, so I want to cover all the uh, sets LEGO uh, did for the theme uh, for that particular franchise, and uh, last but not least, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, the original movie, came out 10 years ago, if you can believe it, uh, so I want to cover uh, all the Guardians of the Galaxy based sets uh, that I have not covered on the channel yet. Uh, so, uh, just to celebrate that, uh, I want to do some uh, special stuff uh, for the DC uh, side, uh, considering the fact that we barely get any DC sets anymore. Uh, we got uh, some Batman uh, sets last year that I know, uh, but. Uh, since the DCEU is officially over and uh, we're waiting on James Gunn to reboot the universe next year, uh, I want to take uh, this year to uh, cover all the DCEU sets uh, that LEGO uh, did release uh, for Tarion, so that's pretty much uh, Man of Steel, uh, Batman v Superman, uh, Justice League, and uh, the Wonder Woman movie. Also, uh, in uh, 
uh, Despicable Me 4 comes out this year. Uh, and uh, we just recently got rumor that uh, uh, the sets we were expecting for the Avatar theme uh, are now uh, apparently minions uh, based uh, to tie into that new movie. Um, however, I do want to take that time to uh, cover uh, the uh, minion sets uh, that they released in 2020 uh, for uh, the uh, second uh, minion spinoff movie. Uh, similarly, uh, Trolls uh, recently had a new movie come out and I want to cover that in uh, uh, the January, February area here since uh, there's not much in new releases uh, for me to cover. Uh, right now, aside from uh, a couple of brickheads and seasonal items, uh, in March, uh, apparently we're getting, uh, apparently that's when the new Ghostbusters uh, movie comes out. Uh, if it, the release date changes, I don't know, but uh, I will be looking at uh, the be looking at uh, the uh, old uh, Ghostbuster sets that Lego made quite a few years ago uh, just to tie into that and uh, shifting uh, from the review side of the channel to a uh, relatively newer uh, thing that I'm doing I will um, link a card up above uh, that you can uh, check out for this but I am uh, building my own Lego city uh, it's a project so I'm going to start here in 2024 uh, so with that I hope uh, to I'm aiming to do uh, once a month have a city update um, or uh, just uh, have a series of mocks here uh, just uh, uh, have something for the channel uh, that's a goal here I want to have like once a month type thing uh, and last up uh, but not least I do, I do have a patreon but I'm gonna uh, go away from that a little bit uh, because I want to uh, have YouTube membership uh, first uh, so I'm aiming uh, to have a certain number of subs uh, at various points of the year so hopefully by by uh, May, I will have uh, 500. I'm aiming to have 500 subs uh, by May. And uh, aiming, aiming to have 1,000 by uh, October. Uh, just, uh, I really want to uh, focus on uh, getting uh, this channel uh, and helping it grow. And uh, really... Uh, putting my best foot forward here in uh, 2024 uh, and uh, with these channel updates I will do uh, more than one uh, per start of the year I want to do one again at, at the halfway mark in June and then uh, one at, again in next January so I want to have two of these uh, channel updates in the year uh, but uh, that does it for uh, the updates I'm gonna have uh, coming to the channel, and I hope uh, you uh, will enjoy the uh, the what I have uh, planned for uh, the new year here.